All right, guys. So uh, you know, I had some problems with my network setup here, um, and uh, the problem was is I was running way too many routers um, because I was bouncing stuff around. So I had to reconfigure everything. Uh, made this the central uh, hub of my network here, and uh, right now I'm running. Uh, this one router and it doesn't bounce to any more. I'm gonna have to change that. So I've already, um, I've already ordered a switch to put in here. So that router right there will go somewhere else and be used. But I'll have a switch hooked up to run all of this, which was the plan from the beginning. Um, but I actually, I, I ended up getting this miner with zero notice from Bitman, so I had no uh, leeway time to get things set up. I was supposed to get a few days leeway. Um, and I never did get any. But anyway, um, so yesterday I, I stopped the video and I had to re rework all of my network. So my network's now completely different. Um, and everything's working as it should now. So we got the miner up and running. It's been running for about uh, 24 hours now. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to show you this is where we left off. Basically, I'm going to go through the steps that you need to go through in order to get up and running. So uh, basically what you're going to need to do is uh, access your router and you're going to go to uh, connected, things that are connected. Your router may be different than this one right here. Um, so, and then what you'll do is you'll see a, uh, in the connections you'll have, right here it says Antminer and it has the IP address. So we take that IP address, put it into your browser, and it'll bring you here to your ant miner. So the next thing you need to do is uh, we're gonna need to go over and we're gonna need to find a pool. Um, basically, I don't wanna go through a bunch of pools um, right now uh, because there's just so many. So basically, um, a lot of people um, love mining with nice hash. So uh, we got nice hash right here, and uh, you go over, sign up to nice hash, okay? And at nice hash, after you've completely signed up, you'll be able to go in here, and you're going to get your wallet address from nice hash. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that wallet address from nice hash, okay? And we're going to use that. So I'm going to go up here to Minor Configuration, okay? And we're going to grab the pool that's the closest pool for a script, and we're going to put it in the URL, okay? So I'm in the U.S., so I'm using the U.S. pool for NiceHash, okay? And then the worker is going to be that wallet address that NiceHash gives you, okay? And then down below, there's a password and I think it'll fall, it says one, two, three. We're gonna erase that, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and we're gonna save and apply. Then after the system reboots, it should start mining to NiceHash. Another thing is on your AntMiner, the default, when you first log into your AntMiner, it's gonna be a default password and a default username of root. So um, so it's going to be root root, and you're going to need to change that too. You want to change that to something else, something you're not going to forget, but uh, change that. But these, these are the settings you need to do so right here. Um, like I said, pick, pick what's closest to you where you live, right, um, on the URL. And the worker name for NiceHash is your actual... Uh, Bitcoin address that NiceHash gives you. Okay, guys? And then you get it up and running, and you come over, and then you should start seeing your rewards. It'll take about, you know, it just depends, you know, um, probably within a, uh, 30 minutes or so, you'll start seeing, um, you'll start seeing on the dashboard and unconfirmed right here, unpaid mining balance down right here. And you can come over and you can look here, see all workers. 
and there you can see mine. Don't worry about the speed, guys. Um, these, uh, the, the speed of uh, the mining pool never seems to really show um, accurately what the speed of your miner is hashing at. So, so don't worry about that. So, anyway, and then it tells you your uptime on the current. Uh, that'll be your current uptime on what you're hashing. Because uh, I believe that what nice hash is going to do is they're going to switch around the algorithm to it's it's the script algorithm, but they'll switch it to mine different coins to be most profitable. So, um, which makes it nice. You can switch it. You can do it manually. I'll show you some other mining pools that you can work with um, on this stuff, so that uh, you can you can check it out. So see there, it just, if you see my, my page just refreshed, I just switched to a different uh, different coin I'm mining now. Uh, my speed hasn't caught up yet, see right here? It hasn't caught up to what my actual miner's mining, and my uptime is zero. So that's, that's how this works. And uh, basically what you're going to do is uh, after you get a balance in your uh, wallet here, um, you can take that and you can transfer it into a uh, into your ledger uh, if you've got one. If you don't have one, you can get one. I'll get a link in the description. Um, it helps me out when you use that. Or you can send it to... Uh, a software wallet or, or however you want to do it um, so works out really good anyway and then so you should be seeing it'll tell you right here your estimates down here at the current what you're mining so she's all up and running she's working as you can see and uh, Go over here back to the dashboard, you know, and uh, I, I sh I'll probably make a uh, video explaining all the menus and everything in here um, so that you guys under can understand that better. Um, I'm also going to be uh, putting up a video on how to overclock your Amp Miner L3 Plus. Um, so you can get uh, the most uh, hash out of it without uh, harming it. So I, I will be doing that real soon. Um, I got other things I need to work on yet. Um, before I start doing that, I'm actually going to need to get my 3D printer up and I'm going to pr print up the exhaust shroud for this and get this where it's exhausting outside because once you start overclocking, then you're going to start generating lots of heat. So, anyway, so there it is, guys, and we got our run-in right here, so, and I got, uh, as you can see, I'm expecting more real soon, you know, got the power supply running, um, this, uh, another thing I wanted to mention, I don't know if I mentioned it really in the other video, but this is a 1600 watt uh, power supply okay from EVGA be careful which power supplies you get I recommend only EVGA you want to make sure that your your power supply is a single rail power supply that's your the number one thing um, now 1600 that does not mean that I'm pulling 1600 uh, at the wall that means I'm capable of pulling that much. So I'm only running this power supply at 50%. And what that means is um, it's incredibly efficient. This is going to be way more efficient than uh, than uh, anything else I could put on there. Especially because it's a P2. So the efficiency is, is really good. So over time 
that will pay for itself. Uh, it'll never, it should never get hot um, at all. So it'll never get hot and uh, it's running incredibly efficient. I, I don't know what my efficiency curve is gonna be at 50%, but it's probably, I'm, I'm, I'm way up there. So uh, even a G, a 1600G uh, will run this incredibly efficient. So, and there it is. away. So keep a lookout for my other videos. Um, I'll be talking about some other pools that you can use. Um, and also, like I said, I'll be putting up the video on um, on overclocking. And I'm also going to get the 3D printer up and running. And I'll be making uh, exhaust shrouds. And uh, I'll probably, I'm actually going to um, adjust some of them I'm gonna build one uh, build one up myself um, I'm not real liking some of the ones that are out there now and uh, so I'm gonna probably build up one myself and I'll probably start selling it so anyway appreciate it guys thanks for checking out the video and stay awesome another look I gotta yeah I got a lot of work I gotta that'll all be full of miners that whole shelf is gonna be solid miners so, hey, thanks, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Stay awesome.